I don't think there's a one of us. As a matter of fact, I don't think there's any of us, regardless of what they tell us, I don't think there's a one of us that really truly believe that the SLB, the GLD ETFs, um, as well as the FDIC, it's actually truly going to pay up anything that they actually truly say that they are. Why do we, as people, continually to do everything that we can to trust in a system that we know that is sunk? If I've said it once, all you have to do is go back into my archives. Go back into my archives. If I said it once, I said it a thousand times. Um, the banks, I don't care who they are, they can't be trusted. Listen to me very closely. You take your money, you stick it into the banks, it's no longer yours. Do you understand? So when they rob your accounts, when they commit theft, just like they've done in Cyprus, and I told you, and I told you that once all these things that are dead, they are out to sea, and they're just waiting to be slowly washed up the shore, all you have to do is go back and, and, and uh, look at my archives. I got a lot of them in there. Uh, but you will get the education of your life if you go back and look at my archives um, with me talking about finance, money, situations, the world, bleak and dark circumstance, the, the, the situation that we're in right now. If you would have paid attention to me three years ago, go back into my archives, you would be well off right now, doing very, very well, because by then, by now, if you wouldn't be halfway out of debt, you'll be out of debt. You would not believe how many people. I just had another brother come to me this week and gave me a big hug. He said, Pastor Dow, thank you. And I go, for what? For getting us out of debt. And I go, really? What do I do? You're preaching. You're teaching. Because I listened to what you had to say. I considered it was nothing but the truth. I'm out of debt. Now I'm free. And you wouldn't believe the load that is off of me and my family and how free we feel. I get those kind of testimonies all the kind, all the time. And it took some of these people a few a time to get out. Now, you know, we're at the point. You think about this. Think about this for a second. Now, I want y'all to listen to me in real good. People go out and invest in a stock market that is inflated. And they're not going to get anything back from it. What is the FDIC? The FDIC probably has, uh, what, $285 billion in its account to so-called insure. Look, they, they, the numbers don't even match up. I'm just going to I'm gonna try to throw a number that I believe to be true. The so-called insure, $2 or $3 trillion worth of deposits. $2 or $3 trillion worth of deposits. That just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't. It's just not intelligent. And then the SLV, which you know there's nothing in it. The GLD, you know there's not anything in it. And they have it even in their fine right, fine tune writing, a little bit of writing, that even if you call for it, you ain't getting it. We have the option to give you paper. Many of you people are going to be disappointed. I mean, sorely disappointed. You listen to these these deceiving day traders, you listen to all these wicked folks uh, who, who are in the stock market, these brokers, there's a reason why they're brokers, because they're broker than you are, and they have to use your money in order to make money, that's how they make their livelihood. The new concept now, becoming your own centralized bank, you know, central bank, central to you, within your hand reach, like this, is becoming a new banking system, because we see what's going on, the people, we get nothing but austerity measures. And the banks are continually being bailed out by the government. Who saddles the people with the debt? Look at Cyprus. They can't even get their money out of their accounts. And you know the reason why they can't get their money out of their accounts? They can't get their money out of their accounts because all the rich people have first got to settle everything and get everything lined up for them. Then by the time all of the pulpers, the poor folks get in there, the middle class, which they're eroding real fast, and the and the um, poor folks, they're going to limit you on your amount 
of money you can withdraw. And not only that, they're going to put police there with guns at the banks. Now, mind you, see, this is the problem. It takes a paradigm shift. You think it is your money because you go put it in the bank. No, it's your money when you can have your own safe at home, your own safe at home. And I'm going to tell you the type of security system you need. First of all, you need an alert mind. You need your own independent security system that will go beep, beep, beep to alert you in case there's intruders on your property. Also, it would be nice if you had a good trained Rockwaller or a pit bull or two. But the best security system, best home defense security system is a good old Remington 870, a Mossberg 500, and the best Ammunition to get for the Mossberg 500 is two and a three quarter four shot. 13 and 1330 feet. Woo! That's some good rounds right there. I'm telling you, that will do the job. And you need security for security for security. So a 45 ACP or a 40 XD or a Glock 27. You should have at least one of them or 38 on your person at all times. One of those weapons. Um, and if you can't have one of those weapons, you see, you need one of those weapons in order to, you know, you use the pistols to get to your backup weapon or your main weapon. See, the pistols are the weapon that you use to get to your main weapon, which is a rifle, which is a good AR-15 or 223, 556, yeah, or whatever. You do the math, whichever ones, they both the same. Um, or an AK-47, which is the probably the most reliable weapon that there is in the world. Not the most accurate, but the reliable. But I'm telling you, when somebody gets hit by something, what difference does it make uh, where you hit them at as long as you hit them, as long as you stop the threat? Um, I said all that because whether you like it or not, you're going to have to, hey, you're going to have to, you're going to have to change your mind. Because the news media and all these people, and I'm talking to most of you people out there who got deep pockets and investments because most people don't have $100,000 in a bank account. I promise you, I have nowhere near $100,000 in, in a bank account. I mean, nowhere near it. And yet, I wish I was smart enough to know why I should put $100,000 in a bank. Since I'm not getting any yields on any interest whatsoever at all, my money is eroding. I can't save anything if I try to put money into the bank account and try to save uh, with the dismal interest rates that we're getting right here. And then with the high rate of inflation today, I call it hyperinflation personally. Um, how can you save something like that? I wish I was smart enough. I really, truly wish I was smart enough and intelligent enough to go buy some silver and gold. Now, somebody need to help me because some way, somehow, I just cannot seem to find the intelligence to where I can actually really, truly believe that silver and gold is a tangible asset. So hopefully one day I'll become intelligent enough to buy some silver and gold in order to hedge myself against inflation, in order to preserve my purchasing power, in order to continue to keep on Trying to make some type of future for this upcoming economic collapse because like it or not, it's coming. It's already here. It's already here. Cyprus is just a sideshow for what's to come. So what's my advice going forward? Well, it's motivating me more than anything after the meditating on it and thinking on it even more so. Um, and don't get me wrong. I use credit cards. Yes, I do. I use credit cards to make purchases, but then I pay them off as quick as I can. I really do. Bam, I really hit it hard. Um, but I tell you what, real true freedom and liberty is, is to not be a, uh, a debt slave. That is the truth. I wish I was intelligent enough to not live in debt. I wish I was intelligent. I wish somebody would help me. I need some advice. Because I'm thinking... That being debt free is the best way to live. You know how easy it is to actually go out and buy 
food and to buy silver and to buy gold because it's a, I just did a video 300 billion dollars the central banks as soon as gold went under $1600 an ounce 300 billion dollars of gold was sold <coughs> and to show you and to show you how manipulated the market is look at how fast gold jumped up and how fast the price went up didn't budge an inch but they can go out and slam the market and sell off all kind of SLV, do all kind of buying and trading in the paper, and boy, all of a sudden the markets just go off the chain. It's going to be a sad day in the world when people come to find realize that they've been had, that the system that they trusted in. You see, economics is kind of like the religion of Christianity. There's nothing truthful about either one of them. Oh, wait a minute. If you choose to, to be mad and upset, that's your prerogative. I do have freedom of speech. Um, but if you claim to be a, a, a woman, a man, a woman of honor, integrity, instead of getting all mad at me for making all these statements, how about just going checking out what I said to see if it's so? How about that? Because when you do do your own personal, private investigation, a rude awakening is coming your way. You're going to find out this man told you the truth. Why I continue to keep making these videos? Because every single week, every single week, I get somebody waking up. As a matter of fact, you know, I, I had a wonderful offer. I, I, I wonder where it is. Let me see if I can find it. I'll be right back. Wonderful offer sent to me today. I want you to look at this. I had somebody from the Netherlands, from the Netherlands, sent me. You see that? That's 100 euros. But you know what they did? They sent me. Four hundred euros. You hear that? Four hundred euros. One hundred. Two hundred. Three hundred. Four hundred euros. <laughs> and you know what? It's an offering. And he says, you know, he got some money from the B system. Bless your heart, brother. You are correct. These one hundred euros. And this one hundred dollar bill. Look, look at it. Look at it. What's the difference? What's the difference between the two? Can you tell me what the difference is? I'll tell you what the difference is. They both are trash. But thank you for the offer because you know what we can do? We can take these euros and we can get these euros converted into dollars. And we can take these dollars, hallelujah, and then convert it into real money. Kasef, financial truth. Isn't that beautiful? I wish I was intelligent enough to do stuff like that, though. I wish I had the presence and the intelligence to do something like that. Because then I would truly be intelligent. Because if I can understand the truth about this, the money situation, then I can understand the truth about religion. Every single one of them. And then you know what? One day I will truly be intelligent enough. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. Straightway. And by the way, the euro, it goes down first, and a dollar right behind it. Truth.